second uh, guest today in our uh, debate or discussion, uh, Brother Azdin is from the Libyan Solidarity Campaign and uh, he is very active as well and he, I think he has his own views regarding the conflict in Libya. But therefore we just uh, pass it to him, not the microphone, just the We'll just talk to you, inshallah, for seven, ten minutes, and hopefully we'll come back and then we'll have the open uh, discussion and question as well, and your comments. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, well, I will start with uh, the point which is um, Roy raised, that no one of us trusts the uh, imperialist power. And uh, from there that uh, we have to look to the situation in Libya. We've got Gaddafi's military power. We've got the Libyan revolutionary fighters which is established uh, without any um, doubt. And uh, they faced by Gaddafi. And we've got the imperialist power. We've got the left as well. Um, the Libyan people came out peacefully demanding regime change, demanding justice, social justice, uh, but faced by Gaddafi's live ammunition and uh, killed many of them. The Libyan people didn't have any support from anywhere. We have raised our voice, campaigned for help from outsiders. And we have raised our voice to the United Nations. We didn't actually ask for a particular um, regime to involve in, but yes, we have said or we called for protection to save civilians from Gaddafi's power. Gaddafi has no morals even in fighting, so he used all his forces to crack down the Libyan revolution. We have seen there was a delay from the United Nations. We have seen a delay from the Security Council. We have seen resistance or, you can say, refusal from China, Russia, Turkey, and other countries, African Union, uh, some of the uh, Arab countries. They've refused to support the Libyan people. And I believe that they Nobody believed that the Libyan people will resist Gaddafi, will revolt, will rebel, and will throw, out, will throw Gaddafi out of power. That's what they thought of, and they thought that it will be just a few days, and Gaddafi will clean the street, and he will become the friend of the West as he was. The left people when they saw the begging, the Libyan people asking for help, nobody has got the ability to support the Libyan people. No one involved before anybody or before the United Nations to stop Gaddafi. We didn't say we want military power to come now and stop and Gaddafi. No. We said, can you stop Gaddafi from killing our people? That's what we said. So, how are they going to stop Gaddafi from killing his own people? They've tried the political way by putting pressure on Gaddafi, threatening him with his regime uh, in, with a diplomatic way. But Gaddafi said, no way. And he accused the Libyans, called them rots, called them uh, terrorists, Qaeda members, 
and that Gaddafi is saving the West from the terrorist uh, of Al-Qaeda which is uh, in Libya. These are the things that we have seen. This is what has happened exactly. Where is the left? Where is the left? Or where is the anti-imperialist power? And I get you back to few years before the uprising. Campaigning against Gaddafi, against the armed trade between Britain and Libya. We didn't see anybody from the left supporting us. I want to ask anybody who's connected with the left or the anti-imperialist movement or the uh, Stop the War movement to say we have organized this demonstration against the armed trade between Britain and Libya. I want to see this. Where? When? As long as we campaigned against Gaddafi's military power, against Gaddafi's uh, relationship with Britain, and that Britain training Gaddafi's security forces, Nothing, nothing happened. Not just this, we have never been given a platform on any stage by Stop the War or by any left movement or anti imperialist movement to speak in a demonstration like uh, uh, in London or, you know, national, a national demonstration. At the last Time, you know, when the even when uh, the uh, Amnesty International organized a demonstration uh, to support the Egyptian people, we have asked for a you know few minutes to speak to the crowd. We didn't get that from any organization. So now the question is, how can the left people? You know, supposedly you are one of them, you know. But say, how could they question the Libyan revolution? How could they speak to the Libyan people, say, oh, you have sold your souls to the devil? How could they? I think they need to review their um, uh, uh, opinions and also. Uh, look to the Libyan people. So, from uh, a humanitarian point of view, that the Libyan people needed somebody to save them. And they didn't actually call for uh, the imperialist power for more than 40, to 40 years. We've been under Gaddafi for all these decades. We didn't ask to intervene from any country to save us, but Gaddafi sold us, sold the country. He was the poodle for the West. One day he was the mad dog, yeah, and the next day he was painted by Tony Blair and openly said that he is their partner or that Gaddafi is their ally on their war on terrorists or on terrorism. So we see, and you know why I've got a doubt that there is some wrong under or behind the scene that we don't see involved between Gaddafi and the left in, uh, in, uh, uh, in the West. Yes, because Gaddafi, as uh, Roy mentioned, that Gaddafi is the uh, um, enemy of imperialism. But at the same time, he's serving them. Gaddafi is uh, supplying them with the oil and making uh, investment with them and also, you know, involved in uh, uh, their uh, armed trades. And they call him the peace man in the Middle East after all his crimes. Yeah? So, we have to see that Gaddafi has got something and we want to declare it, we want to find out what is it. And I believe that Gaddafi supported the left, 
supported the socialist movement in Britain in other countries. It's not because he loves socialism. No, he doesn't. Gaddafi ruled Libya by iron and fist for all these years and we never have any kind of socialism in Libya. Just slogans. Just show off. But we didn't. Gaddafi took our money in the name of revolution. That Gaddafi took our property in the name of revolution. Gaddafi took us to wars in the name of socialism and revolution. Gaddafi you, tortured, killed, assassinated many Libyans in the name of what? The revolution and the socialism and the unity and freedom and we didn't see anything of that. Who benefited from Gaddafi? The corrupt regimes of the West. The corrupt regimes start from Tony Blair, end up off with uh, Angela Ma uh, Merkel and George Bush. George Bush! Forgotten about everything about Libya after Gaddafi's announcement of the um, nuclear bomb and he gave all the equipment to America. He became their friend and even we believe that uh, the Lukabi bombing um, is being paid by, which is the uh, compensation. The compensation is being paid by some uh, American uh, companies to get back to Libya and invest, have investment there and uh, uh, access to the oil in Libya. So we have to understand that the Libyan people didn't come up straight away like this and say, yes, we want imperialism. Um, seriously, seriously, that I feel very, very um, embarrassed by the uh, left movement because through five years or more we've been through this um, campaigns if it is stop the war, if it is anti-imperialist uh, power in the Middle East, if it is um, uh, old campaigns here in, in Britain, even national campaigns. We involved in it and now we see that the left they just look to us that the Libyans sold them their lives or their souls to, to the devil. And we want to say there is another another critics or you know criticizing the Libyan people doesn't benefit the left and it will not add to their moral anything, but there is another way of uh, supporting the Libyan people. If they want to prevent the devil from using and abusing the Libyan people and the Libyan wealth, then they have or they should involve in how to campaign and to make sure that the imperialist power do not get access to that. And also the Libyan people to see that the left movement in the world is supporting the Libyan revolution unconditionally but they want to wake them up against the imperialist power and also not to trust them and also to make sure that yes when you finish the operation you leave without any conditions or uh, side effects. Thank you very much.